Tommy. I know you do, son. Hold that, hold that, hold that turnover. Hold that turnover. Good con. It's a really interesting project. We are trying to utilise some of the skills, expertise, <laughs> facilities that we have here at John Moores uh, for the wider sporting athletes. My name is Chris McCready. I'm a postgrad student at Liverpool John Moores University. I'm funded through the Football Exchange, so part of my role is to develop a football related business and look at some enterprise work and try and set projects up. So using my uh, knowledge, I suppose, as an ex-professional footballer. We've identified that during the off-season, there's a, um, a bit of a gap between the services that players can access. So there may be some young lads who are looking to kick on, some lads who are out of contract who, who need to um, you know, stay on top of things physically, and also other lads who, who just like to, to work hard and try and improve. So between some key staff at John Moores we put an, an off-season training plan together where players come in to us for four or five weeks of the summer as much time as they're available really we look at their physiological makeup their nutritional habits and we look at their strength and conditioning and we try and improve basically their strength speed and power over a four or five week block uh, the idea being this is a, the only bank of time they get to really work on certain things that they need to improve and we've got the expertise here to, to help them achieve that. So our role is to really do physical profiling to establish their strengths and their weaknesses. And the real focus and purpose for us is to target and get after the player's weaknesses and develop those strategically in line with you know, other physical aspects that they're going to need to be a better football player for the pitch. And by working on those weaknesses, hopefully we can make bigger performance increases that they recognise are important and required for them in their game. The first day is involves some testing where they do a DEXA scan which gives us a full body composition of where they're up to at the minute. Then we do a submax VO2 to, to look at their substrate utilisation. Then we have um, Sam Impey who, who heads up the nutrition side of it so he looks at, provides a nutritional consultation and food diary analysis. Then they come over to John who's a, our strength and listening coach and they do a, a movement screen where John looks for certain weaknesses and balances that he can improve on and then we put it all together into a big plan and we train four days a week and um, everything's individualised around the player, what they need, very bespoke package and um, they train with us for the majority of the summer. Well there's an array of batteries that we'll go through uh, and some of those are movement screening as Chris has mentioned already but we call that movement efficacy, so looking at the, the whole concept of how someone moves because essentially you have to move well to move fast almost and, and, and speed is a very very big asset for a football player uh, so we're looking to make sure that players are athletic in their movement and they have good control of those movements too and the other things we're looking at strength in functional and non-functional football specific terms we're also looking at um, their landing mechanics as well so quite often injuries knee injuries ankle and back injuries are highly associated to improper mechanics of landing and inability to land well and land under control prior to a change of direction or a sprint running task. So we're looking to Im improve that overall efficacy as well. So essentially it's the, the movement efficacy, it's the strength and the control through landing mechanics that we're assessing. What we've tried to do from my own experience is sometimes in football you're, you're more told what to do rather than understanding why you're doing it. So we're trying to get the player involved in the process, what do they feel they need to work on, keep them fully integrated into how we develop the programme and and, and support them and, and make them a part of it. So we're looking to add to what the clubs already offer them. Um, and this service is all very individual and bespoke. I've loved it so far, yeah, it's been brilliant. Um, it's always important, I think, in the off season, it's the only time, you know, when you get, when you haven't got games and stuff, so you can make improvements in your strength and your speed and stuff. So for me, it's been brilliant so far, yeah. Today we do sprint stuff, so on Fridays, we've been doing sprint stuff, Mondays has been, like a strength workout in the gym. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are more like speed and power. So it's good to have like you know like an organised programme because if you go to the, the gym on your own you just end up, you know, like kind of floating through things, don't you, and stuff. So doing it with these and everything structured all towards getting faster and stronger is, is great, yeah. I think what the players really like mostly and probably one of the new unique aspects we can provide here to collaborate with the clubs is um, a one-to-one -one training environment. So we have an array of coaches who are skilled at Masters or better PhD level. Um, so we're able to give that player one-to-one -one access time 
and really take care and nurture the proficiencies that they feel they need to work on that maybe they couldn't otherwise get done in the club because of course there's fewer practitioners with a much larger, larger number of athletes so that ratio is much more difficult perhaps to often to make specific changes in detail for each person whereas I think we can give that real attention to detail and I think that that is definitely driving player motivation and their enjoyment in the task here as well. Um, so for me as I'm an assistant um, we've started off just uh, seeing what John's doing and seeing his programs and then as we're halfway through now he's letting us have a lot more input on it so um, we have main focus is strength, power and speed and um, we've now split ourselves so we've got an individual athlete each as much as we can so you can really um, get that coaching athlete bond to, to get a better outcome um, and we uh, yeah now we're just starting to make a, a few changes to the program so that we can have some input so learning a lot. It seems like they really enjoy it it's really good I mean they're getting all the the lab tests done and they're getting really good testing done in here so they're getting a lot out of it one-on-one um, -on -one coaching every session sometimes two coaches um, and yeah there's always a good vibe in here good smiles everywhere so seems like they're enjoying it and getting something out of it. I feel a lot more confident in me running and stuff now and um, definitely getting stronger as we're going so the stuff that we're doing is, is working yeah. Yeah the players are really enjoying it um, particularly some of the boys here have been coming down for I think this is the fourth week of the program now so they're really starting to see some, some benefits they're getting, starting to get a bit sore a bit tired from it but they're doing really well working really hard. I think hopefully if we, um, we, we get a, a good evaluation coming out of this and and hopefully the players recognise and see the value of something like this, that we can branch out and offer this to other professional football or maybe other sporting organisations too, who, who potentially look at us as, a, as an area of a collaborating, supporting arm, if you will, where we can provide clubs uh, extra support or support in other areas where perhaps they can't through resources or manpower, where we can perhaps dovetail our services to meet their needs. So I think one thing we're trying to do very much is make sure that we recognise the club's aims because ultimately what we're doing here is to give the club a better player on return and, that, and that's through ultimately looking at the players needs and their motivations individually as well to make sure that we could create a holistic package which ties into the club needs not just about Liverpool John Moore needs so we're very much about collaboration. Like I said you can do stuff on your own but unless you're working with the professionals and these, these fellas here they the best of the best you know what I mean so it's, there's no one better to work with and if they're putting so much time into you and all the gym stuff is one-on-one. Is -on -one. So, yeah, there's absolutely no reason why people shouldn't be doing it. I think it's brilliant. Speaking to some of these, these athletes that are coming in, these football-specific guys, about university life and exposing them to university life um, and the opportunities that could be available to them. And we think sometimes in professional sports, um, it's nice to have that broadened image. Of, of what goes on in and around um, outside of their sport itself. University life, um, a lot in football, a lot of players, they think if I don't make it in football, then I may do something else. Um, but we adapt, adopt a different philosophy where more of a dual career approach. So we believe that you know, we've worked with Olympic athletes and Commonwealth athletes, and they've graduated in three, four years. Uh, and what we're able to do is offer them a, um, an education at the same time as, as playing at the same time and it again kind of broadens their outlook, put things in perspective and offers a little bit more personal development that they may get just being insular within their sport itself and also as well Chris um, is a great ambassador because he came through the scholarship scheme himself and he graduated and now he's, you know, he's, he's still within the industry and he also felt that when he was coming to the end of his career because he knew he had his degree behind him, he wasn't as nervous chasing those contracts every year uh, because he knew he had something also at the same time behind him and then it was quite a seamless transition. So it's that emphasis on, on not just kind of, of, of life straight after football, um, but also actually pursuing a career while playing football as well.